few weeks ago, I went with David Mathis, who owns Gallagher Guitars in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Amazing guitars. Tons more information on them coming. But a few weeks ago, I went with David Mathis to show off the brand new Gallagher Jumbos that are being made. Uh, and we wanted to go and show them to George Groon. Now, this video... It was just kind of a camera in the room, fly on the wall, and I think there's something really cool about this. So, in this video, you're going to see George Groon assess, look, play, tinker, think about, and eventually buy a couple Gallagher guitars. And it's really cool. I asked permission to film this stuff while we were there, and it seems like the best fit on my channel because this is kind of cool insider perspective uh, on what it's like to bring a guitar to market and to have people think. Now, a couple observations about George Groon that are really funny. Number one... He is not worried about hurting people's feelings. He's not worried about being particularly nice. He picks stuff apart. He is particular, but he's the he holds the keys to many of the doors in which most guitar builders want to go through. It was really interesting to me. I've spent time with him through the years. I've played some really amazing guitars. He kind of has connected me to New Orleans, so he usually will talk to me about New Orleansy stuff. This is a cool it's a cool moment. It's a cool video to be just kind of a fly on the wall. So, let me know what you think. Dig in. It still has, you can see the wood mm -hmm. grain and it's beautifully transparent all over. Right. So that color and then this color right in the center mm -hmm. are gorgeous. It's two different colors you could, that I would, in fact I've already ordered them from Taylor mm -hmm. to do that guitar yes. in this color yeah. and that guitar in just this color. And so two colors. And a uniform wood. color like that and to do this color. Mm -hmm. Stay in the wood than it is to stay in the finish. And what year was that guitar? 1929. Well, what kind of spruce is this? It should be Sitka spruce, but I was noticing the wide grain on it myself. It almost looks like an Adirondack. We did black yeah. preference on the uh, the sunburst. Darn good sounding guitars, man. Let's try the other one. Yeah, let's play the maple while you're at it. That one doesn't do it for me. Mm -hmm. No, that, this one's 
kind of, um, it's a little Taylorish sounding. Yeah, I think I like the Rose is one of the best, although the Mahogany one is It's a good guitar. It's a strong, mm -hmm. both yeah, of them are strong. This, uh, um, the Rosewood one looks significantly more deluxe in its $300 difference in price. Hmm. So. The herringbone, the diamonds and squares. It's got herringbone, the diamond, it's got the... Uh, Iberoid. It's got the bound neck. And head cap. Yeah, it, it just, uh, it looks significantly more deluxe. So you're saying it's only $300 more expensive? Yeah, retail. The difference between a D20 and HD or a D28 and a D18 is $800. You know, this one's the difference is 300 bucks. Yeah. Retail. Yeah. Jumbos are coming. They continue to get sold right as they're made. They're very cool guitars. There are other guitars that I think are amazing from Gallagher. And if you don't know, Gallagher and I are strategic partners. I get paid for marketing and some work that we're doing together. Uh, and I get commission when I sell them. But I believe in them. And I believe in David Mathis. And I'm excited for them. So make sure you subscribe to me. Also go over to Gallagher Guitars and make sure you subscribe to their channel because there's some really cool stuff that we're making that's going to go up on that channel in the next little bit. So thanks for watching this video. I'm Jeremy. I am the guitar hunter and uh, this was a fun trip to hang out with George so see you later Groon guitars and we were showing him to get the jumbo guitars uh, made in Murphy all free complete bloopers